YouTube is Boss Saiyan here, your favorite Saiyan on YouTube. And today I have an unboxing video for you guys. We are going to be looking at a Signature Edition Games PlayStation Vita unboxing video for the long haul. As you can see, I've just received this a couple of hours ago this morning. Um, and I thought I will open it up, share it with you guys. I must say I've been waiting for this order for roughly two months now. Um, Signature Edition games don't tend to be um, as bad uh, with waiting times as um, limited run games tends to be. But don't forget that these guys, especially limited run games, they first take the orders, very limited edition numbers, then they have to go to Sony, uh, you know, wait in the queue, um, get it printed, get it sent out to you guys. And that's pretty much what Signature Edition games does as well. Uh, they tend to have a stock and they tend to send out a box uh, to the people who uh, order. So they wait for a queue. So it's not one guy having to run to the post office every single day with a couple of uh, copies. But they do send it out in bulk. And then eventually, uh, you know, when it's your turn, you get it in the bulk as well. So as I said, unboxing video, let's have a look at what do we have in here. Okie dokie, there you go. Uh, I have kind of just opened it up for the sake of easiness, so I'm not really screwing around a lot with the scissors here, but they're here on the side. So uh, this is literally me opening it out up the first time. I'm going to take this out. It's like a receipt kind of thing. And you can see it's very neatly wrapped. And even so, it did see a bit of battering the boxing. The box has, if you look at my previous order from Dan, the Count Lucanor, that's seen a little bit of uh, just a tiny bit of creasing there on the side not too much they have done a better job with packaging this one however this time so I'm very happy to see that first of all uh, and let's see what we get in this pack so I'll take it out of the box put the box to the side we don't need to see this anymore very neatly uh, put into a little bubble wrap packaging and to bend it back so it doesn't get the sticky stuff on the um, there we go let me see and immediately I can see that we have a lovely little long reach coin here uh, which says signature edition hold on let me there you go look at that that's really cool it's a nice little coin I like that certainly adds to the overall feel of this pack so we got that and of course the game itself and we have a signature edition postcard size just really a, a picture of the uh, long reach uh, game and how the the artwork is in the game there you go and then finally the game and it does look very nice it uh, it went out of print uh, when I was or trying to order it the first time and as you can see this is volume 3 out of 5 there so that means they're gonna do another two uh, print runs of this bad boy so you will be able to get your hands on it if you are quick enough now I do need my trusty scissors here for a second, just going very neatly, trying not to damage the packaging whatsoever. Here we go. That's it, that's very nice. That's lovely. Check this out. That's some cool shit right there. Excellent, look at that. Alright, let's open it up, let's see what else is in here. We'll go in to the front, to the to the top bit, to the front, that's going through the front alright there you go nice clean opening right oh my god there's all the goodies in here that you won't see okay there's a bit of uh, foam in there just to give a little bit of uh, support for the game itself this is the game the long reach for the PlayStation Vita there you go we also get the original soundtrack, which is very cool. Look at that. I love the uh, the art on this one as well. Kind of comes out really well how the guy is hiding 
there at the back from this guy who's got the knife and then we open it up as you can see the CD is right there there you go nice nice little touch for the collector's edition and then finally we have this little black book the development manual and project instruction which gives you an overview uh, well, it got, it's got a contents page, uh, a little bit about the publisher, a little bit about the characters, stuff on the artwork, you know, as usual stuff that you would expect to see from a collector's edition uh, game. And then finally, we have the game here. And we're going to open this up too. There's a little strip there at the bottom that you can find on most Vita games. And that will give you easy access to get into your game. And then, of course, this will only have the cartridge in here, which is exactly what we want to see. Now, the game is like a um, it's a 2D horror survival kind of uh, kind of thing with a very nice uh, story going on. It's very difficult to put it back in into the box, so you might want to be careful with that. I am not trying to really push it in. Okay, well, it's in there, but it's going to go into my place, uh, Vita case anyway. So it's a, yeah, like I said, it's like a 2D horror survival type of game. So I'm just moving my uh, my table lamp to the side a little bit. Um, and it, it tends to, uh, like, it's, it's one of those kind of games like, you know, Silent Hill that, you know, you should play with your... Uh, headphones or earphones uh, on and switch the lights off as well if you want the full immersion in the game and uh, I'm really looking forward to play this game I've recently picked up the uh, Silent Hill um, which one is it um, uh, Book of Memories which I haven't actually tried out yet I got so many Vita games on the go that I'm currently playing that I don't just want to jump into something and then you know leave it out and, and not go back into it like I, I started volume a couple of months ago and I've done like four or five stages and I haven't gone back since yet because I'm still playing uh, the uh, the Motorstorm uh, Arctic Edge which I did I do have for my old PSP as well but I thought it's gonna look even more crisp on the Vita and it definitely does so I highly recommend for you guys to download that if you like racing games that's an absolutely epic game for the PSP one of the um, uh, later releases, I think it was released in 2009. Excellent, excellent game. Get it for the Vita if you can. But uh, anyway, I'm digressing here completely from <laughs> what uh, what we're looking at here. I think overall the content is is really great for the long reach. I do like the little signature edition coin. I think that's a nice little touch there. Uh, it is certainly very cool. Uh, I do like everything that is. Uh, obviously edit here you do get good value for your money is basically what I'm saying here and the the packaging was really cool like I said when I got uh, the Count Lucanor game that seen a little bit of battering but this one got through just in perfect condition how you would expect to see it and um, yes there was a bit of a, a waiting time on the delivery but um, you know I emailed the guys because I wasn't sure what was happening and they replied back to me straight away uh, they explained the situation they said of we sending this out in waves and I was like alright fair enough I just wanted to know whether you forgot my order or not because it's been a while now since I paid for it and obviously you know you, you want your you want your games to come through as soon as you can um, so yeah, I think you know overall, if I would just you know have to compare signature edition games with uh, limited run games, the one thing I would say is, and this is on the final note, is that whatever signature edition games releases, you have a very good shot in getting it. Uh, whereas, uh, especially the recent releases uh, on uh, Salt and Sanctuary and Another World, it was the print run was so limited with limited run games. It's in the name, really, isn't it? But 1,800 copies on Salt and Sanctuary, 1,500 copies on Another World, just the very standard. You can, you can get it with the CD and you could get the whole package. But, uh, you know, if you think about it, 25 bucks plus delivery, you know, to the UK would be another 7, 8 bucks easy. So you're looking at, you know, roughly 30, 32 pounds, uh, you know, uh, once you... Uh, uh, 
exchange to pounds uh, and you gotta wait like five six months for your game to come over signature edition games you have a good shot on actually getting what you want uh, and you know they they do get the job done really well I was very frustrated on missing out on Salt and Sanctuary I literally had it in the cart and then when I was when I was pressing pay with PayPal it was just like sorry it's out of stock and it was like why would you do that obviously 1800 copies is so limited uh, and I and I get the whole point is to uh, to get people uh, you know um, trying to go for it and and whatnot. But I went on eBay and immediately as soon as I you know I it said it was out of stock. There were uh, two, three, four uh, different um, new items coming up on eBay for double, triple the price for Salt and Sanctuary, and it was just infuriating because you know you think like. Okay, I truly want to play that game, and I haven't downloaded it because I wanted to buy it in physical media. But um, ah, anyway, it doesn't matter. I got The Long Reach, which is an excellent game, and I'm really looking forward to getting into it. I might do some footage thing as well, but for now, this unboxing will suffice. And I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below, especially what your opinion is about The Long Reach game, because I really do want to hear your opinion about this game, guys. If you have played it already, if you got any tips, tricks, uh, advice that I'm, maybe I should follow. And, and besides that, uh, up until next time, uh, peace out, YouTube. Busty and signing out.